Hey guys, this is Hydra from X Trades, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the market uh, weekly analysis and look at the bigger picture stuff and see how we're set up for going into November, right? So let's start off with the uh, indices as usual. Take a look at SPY and QQQ. Um, SPY had a really nice breakout here, consolidated for two, three weeks, and then last week, last last week, we were able to make a, a very strong breakout, and then th this week we got some continuation um, we are starting to look a little bit extended here um, but overall SPY is holding up really really well it's starting to form a little flag here but yeah overall really good action here and um, yeah not much else to say right uh, <clears throat> the indices are turning really well and uh, if we do pull back there's a very good chance there'll just be some slight consolidation if we do see uh, if we do see a bigger pullback then there's a chance that we could uh, pull back to 477 but other than that everything looks uh, pretty good now let's take a look at QQQ QQQ is also pretty extended right um, there's two unfilled gaps I'm not sure if these gaps are going to be filled we just got to take it day by day right but overall right now QQQ is starting to form a flag here overall really good action it got extended for sure and now it's starting to flag on the weekly chart um, yeah, on the weekly chart, it definitely looked like it got extended. Now it's pulling back in. But overall, really good action from both of the indices. And they're both making new all-time highs, right? So, very bullish action there. And then IWM. Um, IWM has been trying to break out here. That 198 level is key. Uh, rejected here. Rejected a couple times here. And then finally had a successful breakout. But then pulled back in again. And then uh, the last couple of days, we pretty much just consolidated right under and we're starting to form a bull flag so if this can if we can take out this bull flag and take out that 198 level there's a very good chance that small caps will have um, a good opportunity in the coming months for a rally right but that's pretty much it for the indices now let's take a look at the big cap tech stocks start off with apple apple looks like it's pulling back in here to that 191 level overall good action it's just forming a bull flag here again so we'll see what happens there but i think we're just going to consolidate and then break out in either direction and next up let's take a look at amd amd looks a little bit extended on the daily very very sharp rally right uh steep rally um but overall it's holding up pretty well um not much to, uh oops removed the wrong one yeah but yeah not much to say amd is holding up really really strong Semiconductors are the top names right now, like NVIDIA, um, SMCI, and other ones. But yeah, AMD is holding up really well. Uh, next up, let's take a look at Google. So Google also had a very nice rally this week on the weekly chart. It looks really good, making you all-time highs. Um, yeah, Google has room to make a much bigger rally from here, as it just took out the key resistance level right and made new all-time highs so google has a lot of potential up it's just slow grinding up so really good action from google um meta is another one that's just slow grinding up every week right meta also making new 52 week highs really good action same thing with microsoft microsoft made 52 weeks 52 week highs a while ago and it's just continuing to go so very very strong action from all the big cap tech stocks netflix another one the really strong gap up and then uh yeah broke out last friday and this one yeah it's taking back that 562 level next level would be there's definitely some resistance around that 620 and then after that 700 so netflix still has a lot of upside potential but very strong rally very strong earnings gap up um take a look at nvidia nvidia has been doing really really well ever since that ever since that big base breakout right formed a really big base tightened up and then <clears throat> very successful breakout very strong breakout and uh it's it's extended but it still keeps going so um when you see that type of action that's very bullish but overall nvidia looks really great here on the weekly chart it looks fantastic um but yeah not much else to say for nvidia let's also take a look at tesla so tesla is one of the weaker ones um take a look at the weekly chart on tesla here so tesla has some support at that 181 level 
but if it loses that then there's a very good chance that it could see 154 again but other than that there's no other real support level for tesla so on friday it did form an inside form so if it takes out that 167 level then there's a good chance we could get a low bounce but overall tesla looks really weak here and i definitely wouldn't try to, to be longing this one for sure let's take a look at a few more stocks um arkk this one's growth stocks right so arkk is still stuck in this consolidation uh still stuck in between the space right until it takes out that 50 level then it's still um they're just chopping around and uh, arkk did try to have a nice gap up but it failed um and then it ended up filling that gap but uh yeah overall <clears throat> not really much to say for arkk um growth stocks are still acting really weak um coinbase got yeah coin pulled back in pretty hard a lot of the crypto names and then tesla also pulled back in pretty hard right so that's dragging down arkk um but yeah now let's take a look at some good setups for next week um airbnb had a very nice breakout on uh friday so it's a really nice uh, consolidation tight consolidation and strong breakout um but yeah it's looking to make new 52 week highs and this could be a really big breakout here so definitely watching and there are also a newer ipo name so definitely want to keep your eye on that um affirm this one i do like take a look at that weekly chart made a huge move right and then it formed a very nice uh wedge here and then this week it actually tried to break out but ended up failing but <clears throat> there's a chance that it could still continue or try again next week so watching for that 43 level to get taken out if that can get taken out then there's a good chance that a firm can make a nice rally um app folio this one had a very strong earnings gap, gap up huge volume so that's the reason i'm watching this um very nice base breakout right huge volume huge move 28 percent on the day so this one's definitely one that you want to watch watching for some sort of flag and then this could be viable Broadcom, another big cap stock, another semiconductor stock as well. This one had a really nice uh, flag breakout here, right? And then ever since then, it just got really extended. Over here, got extended for sure, and then it's starting to pull back in. But overall, really, really good action on this name. <clears throat> Key support, I would say, is at 11.37. Um, not sure if that's actually going to, not sure if it's actually going to pull back, but if it does, that would be the target. But overall broadcom is a very very strong stock uh with great long-term potential so um yeah next up crowd strike crowd strike also got a little bit extended here now it's pulling back in perfectly normal action estc this one looks like it's viable that 117 level is a good um area to buy the dip potentially had a nice breakout and now it's retesting this uh, key level so there's a very good chance it can bounce off that key level and then keep going uh gitlab this one's forming a very nice uh flag setup here this one does tend to trade a little bit choppy but overall very nice flag setup going into next week um, ibm this one had a very strong gap up and on friday I put in a consolidation board so if it takes out that 192 level then it can continue uh yeah powering higher but on the weekly chart it looks really good right um, IBM hasn't gotten to this level in a really, really long time. So overall, <clears throat> looks really good on the weekly chart. Very nice base and then had a breakout and then nice tight consolidation here. And then another strong breakout. And if we look at the all time weekly, um, it looks like it wants to get back to like that 201 level. So that would be the target for IBM. Next up, let's take a look at ServiceNow. ServiceNow had great earnings um, last week, reported great earnings, and they are also uh, maintaining a very strong rally. Really nice weekly chart, um, similar to the big caps, right? M making new all-time highs, made new all-time highs a while ago, and then, um, yeah, just continuing to grind up uh, every single day. Palo Alto Networks, similar to ServiceNow, this one had a very nice breakout and it's just been grinding higher and higher every day and now it's starting to form a nice flag so this is one that's worth watching um smci this one had a very strong breakout huge volume 
um, and over here it's starting it started to get a little bit extended but now it's starting to form a little flag here so waiting for this to consolidate a little bit more and then this could be an actionable setup um, let's see what else snow snow I really like on the weekly chart has a very nice base here right and it's starting to it did form a bull flag and last week it did break that bull flag not the best close but overall still really good action and then it's definitely breaking out here on the weekly chart a lot of potential for this name um yeah all time highs was 405 so this can easily double right um and let's also take a look at tsm another semiconductor name this one had a very strong earnings gap up nice volume institutions definitely loaded up into the stock based on that volume right look at the volume before and look at the volume bar here um and then it formed a very nice bull flag which was viable and now starting to form another bull flag um really good action on this stock and last but not least uber uber is making new all-time highs here really good action from uber um had a really nice flag set up last week over here and then it broke out and now it's starting to form <coughs> another consolidation let's see if it forms another flag but overall uber has been acting incredibly well and um yeah but that's pretty much it for this week that's all i have for this week overall stocks or the market is acting really well um qqq and spy i wouldn't be surprised if they just consolidate or continue to uh do that slow grind up right now and a lot of the big cap tech stocks is where the opportunity is at so that's definitely where you want to focus for now and if iwm if iwm breaks that 198 level then i would be looking to the smaller cap names because uh yeah there could be some rotation that could come into play next week right so yeah those are the key levels to watch out for and uh yeah thank you guys for watching There's a reason why Xtrades is currently the fastest growing application on the market for sharing financial ideas. With over $2.5 million paid in the last two years to contributors, users are flocking to see what trades the top traders on the leaderboard are sharing in real time. If you're looking to grow your reputation as a trader on the internet or discuss your trading ideas with other reputable investors, click the link below and get connected with the trading mentor today, completely free of charge.